Some of the more notable things that have happened in the last 18 years is that um, I moved abroad. I lived abroad for nearly 11 years. I started my master's degree at the age of 27. I didn't feel confident to do it when I was younger because I wouldn't have been able to hear anything in the classroom or the lecture room. I've also learnt bits and pieces of three languages and very recently I started learning the piano. I'm still very bad at it but practice makes perfect so but without my cochlear implant I wouldn't have the confidence even to actually start putting myself out there to doing these things and I think that's the greatest gift of a cochlear implant. It really does push you closer to achieving your own potential instead of having to be dependent on other people. It's two of the more memorable experiences of having my cochlear implants is when um, I was going home from the bars late one night and uh, I was living in Helsinki at the time and I was walking over this bridge and underneath was the railway line and there was a man just standing with both of his feet on the ledge just standing there um, he was very drunk very unhappy and I just spent about 30 minutes but he said that he was really unhappy he felt that there was nothing left to live for and um, I just spent 30 minutes just talking to him and saying things like think about the ones that you're going to leave behind and yeah it was a, quite an emotional experience um, it wasn't until afterwards that I realised that if I hadn't have had my hearing, I probably wouldn't have been able to have that conversation with him. And what if nobody had come along? So that was one occasion. I was in a bar and somebody had a fit and they collapsed. The bar wasn't busy at the time, so there was not lots of people around. So. Um, this uh, guy literally collapsed on the floor, had a fit, and then he suddenly went still. And um, his heart had stopped. And um, I was wearing the um, comm pilot at the time. So I just instinctively went into help mode. And uh, I had my phone on the floor. I had the comm pilot and I called the emergency services. Um, I've never resuscitated anyone before, so I don't know what CPR is, nothing. But I had to do the CPR because his heart had stopped. Um, so yeah, he, they, they managed to resuscitate him. The, um, the, um, but before that, I was um, literally on my knees on this floor, hearing the emergency... The emergency services were amazing. They were so detailed in everything that I had to look for. Um, there was lots of background noise, so what I did was I changed my program to my music program, which means it's 100% audio input only, so I couldn't hear anybody else, but people were actually gathering. Um, so the emergency service arrived, they bought all their boxes and monitors, and uh, within 15 minutes, he was breathing again. 